Folks, this is Wayne R back for another lesson, and I thought it was high time I did another Bob Dylan song. This isn't sort of the version, there's loads of different versions around of this. There's finger style versions and different capo versions. But this is a version that particularly suits my voice and the way that I sing it, and it's it's pretty much the same chords that you'll need, whatever key you that you do play to. Uh, Mr. Tambourine Man by Bob Dylan, absolute classic, and it was Covered by the Birds, which is also a great version as well. This is sort of a cross between the two versions, so without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so this version I'm doing, you'll need to drop the bottom E string down to, to a D, okay? So you can either do that with a tuner, or you can or you can tune it by ear to obviously your D string, okay? So we're in drop D tuning. So all these chords that I'm going to... There's basically four chords in this song, but you know, pretty much all the way through in slightly different orders here and there. So the chords that we need, we've got the intro. Now we're going to play a D. Now we're being in drop D, we can play all the strings open. So you get this really, you know, really, really meaty sounding D, okay? So, and I'm just going to, this song works pretty much with straight strumming as well. There is a, a strumming pattern, maybe I'll show you, you know, at the end of the tutorial that you can adapt if you want to use that okay so but we start with a d chord this is the intro i tend to sneak a little d sus4 in there and maybe a d sus2 just a bit of chord innovation so d sus4 okay the next chord we're going to is a g b chord okay a g slash b chord now basically um You'll have your first finger on the second fret on the A string. Your third finger will be on the third fret on the B string. Little finger will be on the third fret on the top E string, okay? And we just play the bottom five strings. So that would be a G slash B chord. So, hey, mister. We go to an A chord. Tambourine, a D. Play a song back to the G slash B. Then a D chord, then a G slash B. And an A chord. At this point, I put a little A sus4 chord in as well. So that's just moving the third on the A, moving the third finger up to the third fret on the B string, and then back again. Back to the G slash B. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. And the jingle jang, we go to a D chord, jingle jang, G slash B. I'll come A and then D. Okay, so I'll sing it through with you. For, so that's the intro and the chorus that we've got. And basically, you're only going to need a verse and a chorus. There's one or two verses in this and choruses, but it's pretty much the same throughout the song. So when you've got these two pieces and you get the lyrics to it, you basically got the song. So the intro and the chorus together. So. Hey. 
First chords, pretty much all the same chords, but there is an E minor in there as well. And I'll show you the way that you play an E minor with drop D tuning when we get to it in a minute. So we start with the the G slash B. So oh, the evening's a chord, then a D, back to a G slash B, then a D, back to a slash B, then a D and a G slash B. Then we go to an E minor. Now with the E minor, rather than playing the regular E minor, we cover the top three strings on the, sorry, the bottom three strings, which will be second fret on the bottom E string, the A string, and the D string. I tend to do it with one finger. And then we go to an A chord. Blind you to stand, but I'm not sleeping. The A sus four there. Back to the uh, G slash B. Amazes me, I'm branded on my feet, and I have the one to me, and the ancient empty streets to death for dreaming. Then you go back into your chorus again, okay? So we'll go over the verse together. So the chords that you want are a G slash B, an A, a D, a G slash B, D. G slash B, D, D slash B, the E minor covering the bottom three strings, and then the A chord. And that, that goes round twice, okay? So we'll sing that together. So. through the chorus chords again now I pretty much use this works perfectly well with straight strumming or a strumming pattern that could work quite well that you know you can adapt and make it sort of shift along a bit you know at a nice pace will be down down up up down up down down up up down up so down down up up down up down down up Okay, I think that works quite well. Like I say, this is sung probably, like if you go on YouTube or wherever, there's loads of different versions of this. And the version that I, I'm i sort of doing is uh, a version that's actually played with a capo on the third fret. Now I struggle to sing it in that key. So if you want to sing along to the, particularly the birds version, you'd have your capo up there on the third fret, okay. But this, is, this suits my voice player better, so it's actually, I'm playing... All the same chords, but obviously in an open key. And that is pretty much it. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Um, there's a couple of other Bob Dylan songs I've got up there as well. I think Knocking on Heaven's Door and Blowing in the Wind I've done as well. And I just think if you play an acoustic guitar, you've got to be able to play at least one Bob Dylan song. You know, Bob Dylan is one of the greatest acoustic artists ever. And, you know, he's, he's recently won the the Nobel Prize for his lyrics and everything and uh, literature which you know deservedly so the guy's a genius so I hope you dug that um, thanks everyone who subscribed I really do appreciate it you know um, if you haven't already please do there's 
Over 200 lessons will be in our arm. I'm not kidding when I say there's everything from Abbey through to Metallica. Loads of my favourite bands up there, particularly Manchester bands, you know, the Smiths, Oasis, Stone Roses, there's Joy Division up there. So if you don't believe me, go down and check it out. So uh, thanks very much for watching. I will catch you very soon for another lesson. Take care.